So they've heard about it from The Simpsons, they've heard about it from Joe Rogan, they've heard about it from Stranger Things. As far as The Simpsons go, I can promise that our float tanks are on the ground and they're cemented there and they're not gonna move. <laughs> you're gonna stay here when you're here. It reduces stress, it reduces pain, and it helps you know yourself better. There's a thousand pounds of Epsom salt mixed with 13 inches of water. It's heated to the same temperature as your skin. So because there's so much salt, when you get in the tank, it's totally buoyant. You don't need to try to float, you just do. And since the water's skin temperature, if you don't move, your body stops telling the difference between where you start and where everything else starts. There's no lighter sound in there. That, that part kind of weirded me out, but we don't do that to be weird, right? It has a tremendous effect on your nervous system because all the sensory input that's coming in all the time, it's really important to look at things to make sure that you survive. But when there's nothing to look at, the part of your brain that's always taking care of you and making sure that you're not gonna die in the next two minutes doesn't have anything to do. It doesn't shut off. It's still there to protect you if it needs to be but it slows down and it relaxes and your nervous system profoundly relaxes. Your joints decompress, spine lengthens about half an inch from decompression as well. Your muscles relax and that's what floating does. So If it was a small space that you couldn't get out of, I think I'd be very claustrophobic, you know, because I, I'm not comfortable in closed spaces, but the float cabins that we have are eight feet high. Some are four feet wide, some are about six feet wide actually, and they're eight feet long. There's lights that turn on underneath if you want them, and there's lights that turn on over top if you want them there. You can get in and out whenever you want. So it's not the size of a tanning bed, you're not locked in there. You're 100% physically in control of your experience while you're there.